Next guest spent their lives studying and living alongside wolves. Their new Animal Planet series, Living with the Wolfman, documents their efforts to be accepted by the pack. Take a look. We've got to try and convince her that it's acceptable for having two pack members in here with her, yeah. where normally this would be a very solitary moment for her. Absolutely. Just as I'm thinking she's not going to come in, she suddenly rushes in. <laughs> nice and slowly, nice and gently. You've got this wolf, you know, constantly biting around your lips and your mouth, ferocious to get the food out. She's asking for more food. It's terrifying. Early signs were, were fantastic, really, the way she was with Helen. Please welcome Sean Ellis and Helen Jack. To talk about. First of all, what we were seeing there is you had food in your mouth that you had chewed up and you spit it out so that the wolf can eat the food. Is that right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, <laughs> she... <laughs> it's proving to her that I can be a worthy nanny for her pups. I see. So, and that's one of the, the ways that we feed the pups. It's fascinating stuff. Uh, now, you, you, uh, you Sean, are a, a wolf behavioral expert. Yeah, is that correct? That's right. And you, uh, you, your method is you need to become part of the wolf pack to really understand them. Is that correct? You need to behave like a wolf and actually... Can you convince them that you are one of them? Yeah, you can, because they don't actually see you as a person. They see you as a position. I mean, any domestic dog owner will tell you that they would love to believe that the wolf or the dog sees us as the person, Sean or Helen, but it doesn't. It actually sees us as a position within their group. And because of that, it doesn't matter whether you walk on two legs or four legs, they'll quite happily accept you. Now, you, you, you look a little like a wolf. I mean, is that fair to... <laughs> uh, you know, I, not, I'm not I mean, that as a put-down or anything. You just, you know, you've gone for the long hair and the beard, and I, I've lived with woodpeckers for a while. <laughs> it's my, you know, I'm like, <laughs> you know, and it's my way of communicating with them. Do you find that the look helps you at all, or no? It's all about the behavior. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, I mean, there's very few things that we can do within a wolf pack to mimic their sense of smell or sound. We're far at a disadvantage because of that, and that means that Helen and I can only... Really really cover certain positions within their pack. Um, but facial expressions, vocalization, uh, we can cover all those, which is uh, pretty good, pretty okay. good. Okay, now we have uh, footage here. We're gonna show video of you with wolves. How dangerous is this? We can talk over this. Let's see this, this video. These wolves are quite strong, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, when, when you're down there, I mean, the, the way of disciplining you is the weaponry. Everything comes from their teeth. And it, once you're on that kill, um, high energy levels it's a bit like a handful of small twigs being crushed in the hand and just at the point where you think they're going to break the grip is released they're Showing. very strong very yeah. strong animals but also very trustworthy and very balanced and i think that's what the series looks at it gives you a look at the inside of a wolf pack not from distance not from miles away but actually there on the carcass snarling growling wolves a few inches to play with and these guys you know it's feast and famine it's a battle for survival and you have to be up to the task uh, you, th there is, uh, uh, we have a footage here which is uh, quite shocking where it feels Helen's being tested by one of the wolves and uh, I wouldn't want to do this. Let's just take a look at this. This is, I, uh, I tried that on a lady once. Uh, <laughs> you can't really hold that against him. No, he's like, oh, uh. <laughs> what uh, if you would, tr would it have been a mistake in that situation to try and resist? That would have shown fear. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, that that wolf, that particular wolf is called Matsy, and, and he's kind of the tester within the pack. It's his job to make sure that we can all do ours. So he he kind of picks up on every mistake, every weakness. And if Helen had a reacted badly in that situation, pulled back or, or screamed or panicked, then all he would have done is just clamped down. And I mean, that's, that's, it. That's, that's it. That could be game over very quickly, yeah. You talked about uh, you need to vocalization, you need to yeah. use facial expression. Can you demonstrate anything that you've used on other wolves that have, that, that have, that have helped you? Yeah, basically, when, you, when you're defending something, the first principle of defending anything in the wolf pack is to cover it. And many people, including me in the beginning, was to draw attention to the weaponry, the snarling, growling teeth. 
But it's actually the ears that, that become the form of communication. If, if you were a dominant wolf and I wanted to dominate this area, I would, I would literally just put the ears flat, like an aeroplane. Mm -hmm. But if you are a more dominant animal than me, I have no right to defend against you. I might from Helen, but not from you. So that ear would have to then be pinned back to establish that you could come in, but another wolf wouldn't be able to. Do so you actually growl at wolves? Do you, you do, yeah. Can you give me a growl right yeah, now? Yeah, I mean, what, what, what? Um, if that doesn't work, then the right. build-up is obviously, you then have to go into this this kind of like very low rumble to begin with, a, like almost like a warning, like... Mm, yeah. Like that. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> That's all I got, pal. That's, <laughs> let me get <laughs> That's not so, good, right? No. So, and then kind of what we do is we then intensify things. If things don't go according to plan, then we have to kind of build things up, and that becomes a lot more intimidating. The weaponry gets showing, so it kind of goes... Um, let me get nice and close. Yeah. Right. Sorry if I got bad. That's right. okay. That's all right. <laughs> so, tongue comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I just wet myself. Oh, it's okay. That's, 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 that's good. That's all right. Yeah. So the, the, the kind of the, that's my the, defense mechanism. Yeah, that's, that's good. It works. It works for me. Yeah. Um, so the tongue coming out displays to you that I'm defending something, either me or my food or the area around me. We're uh, about out of time, but okay. the, the wolf howl that we've all learned from Hollywood movies is incorrect, right? We have, mm. ah, woo! <laughs> that thing where, you know, in a vampire movie, you know, uh, yeah. th that's not it, is it? You'd be crucified in the wild for that one. Really? Yeah, they don't yeah, like that? I get no, paused right. down on that? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Absolutely. What is the real wolf call? Um, do you want me to give you a demonstration? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, this is a, a kind of a beta rank or an enforcer's howl. Okay. And it's a locating howl. It's very high in tone, and it's simply inquiring where all the wolves are in the area. So, excuse me a minute for this. <clears throat> <laughs> wow, How's that was that? good. That, I, it sounds. <laughs> there's something about it that sounds a little mopey, you know? <laughs> Everybody goes. <laughs> What's going on? I'm all by myself again. Uh, living with the Wolfman. These wolves would rip my face off. Living with the Wolfman. It's a great show. Premieres October 21st at 10 p.m. on Animal Planet. Really nice uh, meeting you, you both. So Thanks for Pleasure. coming Thank on the show. Sean Ellis, Helen, Jeffrey, right back. Nika Costa. Stick around.